Okay, so this is Colin Rennie here, and welcome to another Rhino video. And this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics of contouring, uh, what the process involves, and a little bit of the the kind of um, behind the scenes processing of what happens within Rhino when we when we make something using the contouring tool. Um, so contouring is a, is a very common method of making objects, especially now with. Uh, lots of um, availability of things like laser cutters and uh, water jet cutters and uh, flat cutters basically. Um, there's uh, an, an ability now to uh, um, cut out materials, flat sheet materials and layer them up to create um, forms. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just start, I'll just start with a sphere and I'll um, manipulate it a little bit. So I'll start with a sphere and I'm going to just shade it here so we can see it and uh, I'm going to rebuild this to give it some contouring. I'm going to give it a bit more control point editability to get up to about that. Go OK, turn the points on and then we should be able to manipulate the object around a little bit. I'm not doing anything here particularly interesting, I'm just really mucking around with the form slightly. Uh, to make it, you know, just an amorphous kind of shape. I might take these up here and uh, move them up slightly. Um, when you rebuild an object in Rhinoceros, you still end up with a singularity point at the top here. Um, you always do that, and if you're making primitives, unless you, you made the shape uh, by another form, another method. Um, but uh, this will do for now. Just it's really just to, to show you any old any old shape and how we could contour that. So we have a we have a form here that we've we've made. Um, and uh, I can call the contour command here just by typing in contour um, or you uh, can also call it by doing curve, curve from objects and then contour is here it's the same command or if you know what you're trying to do it's always good in Rhino just to type it into the command bar and a, and a, and a lot of options will turn up for you um, so the first thing it, select, it asks you to do is select the object that you want to contour I'm going to go to um, uh, so, um, this view here. I'm also going to move this up slightly in the in the, the uh, construction plane, so it's sitting a little bit more vertically. That's better. And I'm going to contour this again. Uh, and it will ask you first for the contour base plane point, um, and that is a, a a point which you would go through. So this is effectively the base of your axis. So we'll we'll choose the zero point. And then I'm going to go back to my perspective view. I'm going to contour this straight up vertically. So um, I'm going to choose a point with my shift key down straight up above it. And then the next thing it will ask you for is a number, a distance between contours. Now you can have a look in here. And if you zoom in, the distance between contours will be one unit here. Well, I'm going, to, I'm going to make this five units to make it a little bit more manageable. And you can see immediately it will create those contours. Um, move those to the side and you have a, a group of contours. What it's doing effectively is it's creating planes and it's intersecting those. So I'll do this manually so you can see what it looks like. So first I'm going to, I'm going to create a plane uh, through the object like this. So there's a plane. I'll make that a little bit bigger actually. I'll just scale it up slightly like that. So that it goes all the way through. And then I'm going to create a, an array of these planes. So I'll do a rectangular array. Number in x direction, I want 1. Number in y direction, I want 1. Number in z direction, I want, I'll just say 15. Enter, enter. Um, oh, I did that wrong. Hang on. Do it again. Uh, number in x direction, 1. Y direction, 1. Z direction is 10. Leave my number on. 10, enter. And then the z spacing I want is the same, which will be 5. Enter. And there I have 5 as so I'm going straight on like that. Okay. Um, and then what you do is you can run the card called intersect. And objects to intersect is all of this, and then it will find those contours. Effectively, that is identical, the same method. So that's what Rhino is doing in the background. It is running a macro. It is creating a series of planes, in uh, going out for through the um, effectively the z-axis of your plane or the normal of your plane, and it's finding the intersect points all the way through. Okay, so that's a very short video just to show you what contouring is, how it works, and how Rhino sets it up. The, the things you're going to need to understand are that contouring requires a direction. 
to contour with and that direction is always going to be normal to the contouring plane um, and uh, once you know that and understand that it will help you uh, to understand the process a little bit better okay so that was a very short one I'm going to show some do another video um, on uh, how to do that in grasshopper um, and that should give you a little bit more control and of the parameters involved okay see you in the next one